Jonathan Tanwald has a question. Go ahead, Jonathan. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, hi, Taylor. Thanks for taking the time with us today. Uh, how's uh, this new life as a, as a defensive midfielder for you? What do you think so? Um, yeah, it's pretty different. Uh, it's my, my first time kind of playing there, but I'm um, learning from the best. Uh, Vlaco has been really helpful in showing me the ropes. Andy as well, just learning from her, and she's been great in that position, and I'm really grateful to, to learn from her every day. How specific does the instruction get, whether from coaches or fellow players? Very specific. Uh, the six is a really important position, um, as is every position, but I think the the six has the responsibility of obviously being the kind of right in front of the, the back line, and they are, they're obviously a really important line, um, but they also have the job of calling the line on set plays, and and yeah, it's, it's pretty nerve-wracking, but um, I'm taking it day by day, and, and I feel like I'm progressing really well. Thanks, JT. We'll go to Steve Goff. Go ahead, Steve Goff. Thanks, Aaron. Hi, Taylor. Thanks for your time. Um, I was wondering if, you, if you've been following at all um, the, the controversy um, stirred up in uh, Australia and New Zealand in particular, in particular about FIFA uh, reportedly enlisting uh, the Saudi Tourism Authority um, as, a, as a women's um, World Cup sponsor, whether that's been a talk among the players or um, in a larger scale um, among uh, female players um, around the world? Uh, yeah, I have been following. Um, I think that we obviously can't control who FIFA partners with, uh, but at the end of the day, U.S. soccer, um, we believe on you know, partnering with people who align with our values best. Got it, thanks. All right, what else do we have for Taylor? Because no one else has their hand raised, which would make Taylor really happy. But we'll wait for one more second. All right, JT has another question, which is totally fine. Go ahead, JT. Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Hey. We've seen also, uh, you know, you mentioned the set pieces, and obviously, we know big part of your role with the set pieces is, and, and I know that just hate, hate uh, showing their cards about set pieces because they're a thing that the teams really get to host. You know, what, what has it been like for you being very much in the middle of that and, and being somebody who, from the look of things, Black Lananowski really wants to use in this situation? Are you talking about both sides of the ball? Sure, why not? Uh, yeah, well, I think obviously my aerial ability is something that I pride myself on and, and I work on every single day. Um, but as far as set pieces, uh, I feel very confident myself in, in clearing those on the def defensive side and, and as I showed last game, scoring on the offensive side. So I'm, I work on it every day and, and I pride myself on being one of the best in the world on that. Well said. Let's go to Jason Anderson. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, hi, Tyler. Uh, thanks for speaking with us today. Um, kind of to build off of um, your earlier answer to Jonathan about the specifics of this role, um, where are some areas that you've maybe found, I don't want to say challenging necessarily, but areas that you feel like you have to focus on to sort of adapt to a, a deeper position on the field? Well, I think I'm, I'm really used to getting forward and getting in the box as the, as the play uh, furthers up the field, but I think the positioning itself is just a really difficult task as in any position. But um, for me, I think holding back and making sure that I'm not, I don't get ahead of myself and, and uh, I need to obviously protect the back line and that's, that's the most important role. So I think just positioning it in itself for me is going to be a, ta a big task to learn from. Appreciate it. Thank you. Question goes to Lakin Littman. Go ahead, Lakin. Hey, Taylor. Um, what's just your experience been like playing with and getting to know Alex in San Diego and with the national team? And what has she been like as a mentor? Yeah, I've I've known Alex for a few years now. I'm playing with her with her in Orlando and moving to San Diego. Um, she's been nothing but great to me. Um, it's made the transition from college to professional so much easier, getting to learn and play with her every single day. Um, 
we we built a really strong connection on and off the field I would say she's she's been a great person to to just look up to and, and go to if I ever need help um, so I think that's really important especially for a younger player um, just having her her there for me it's just it's been incredible so I'm really fortunate to to have her all good Lincoln uh, yeah thanks and let's go to Jeff Kasuf go ahead Jeff hey Taylor um just wondering as as you know a first she believes cup I guess you know on a, on a personal level just the tournament itself um I mean you you experienced qualifying experienced some top level opponents but what you think maybe this tournament, these specific sort of tough opponents do in terms of World Cup prep for you, for players who maybe are, are still newer to, to this scene going into a World Cup? Yeah, I think this is great exposure for me in particular. Um, I feel grateful just to be selected on the roster and and it's gonna be a really good learning opportunity for me and just to, to get us prepared for the World Cup and, and what, who better team to play against is for Canada, Japan, and Brazil, um, I think it's going to be a really good test for us, and and yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a really good um, like test for the World Cup.